today we are going to discuss glial cells which are also called as neuroglia first and very basic thing you must know that your body nervous system or your body nervous tissue consists of two different type of cells which are functionally and structurally entirely different from each other these two types are what number one is neuron and other one cell type is neuron and other is what glial cells or neuroglia cells these two different type cells are completely different you know neuron cell is excitable cell they can conduct nerve impulse but at the same time these are glial cell or neuroglia cells they are considered as the you know supportive tissue of the nervous system connective tissue of the nervous system sometimes because these cells are what they are the cell which provide physical and physiological support to the nervous system or nervous tissue that's clear when you look deep into the glial cells or neuroglia cells because today we are going to give focus to this topic so we know there is a different kind of cells which are are known as as a glial cells or neuroglia these are the cell you know astrocytes oligodendrocytes microglia ependymal cells schwann cell satellite cells they are known what glial cells they all have different functions they all have different structure but they all classify into one group which is a glial cell which are the supportive cell of nervous system which are the supportive cell of the nervous system or nervous tissue that's clear so number one thing you know you know very well your nervous system is divided into two major part central nervous system and peripheral nervous system so these four cells astrocytes oligodendrocytes microglia ependymal cells they are located in where cns central nervous system that's clear these two cell schwann cell and satellite cells they are located where pns peripheral nervous systems that's clear so these are the glial cells number 1 we have what astrocytes look at the structure of astrocytes you know one thing i want to tell astrocyte is you know is your uh, in your brain or in your central nervous system 50% cells are astrocytes 50% cells are astrocyte one of the most abundant cell in the nervous system which is which is one astrocytes this if you look the astrocytes from the name you know this most of word in anatomy is latin or greek so astrocytes mean what star like cell is mean what star like cell if look if you look on the structure of this cell you will find this cell have a round small cell body which have many cellular projections which have many cellular projections and this cell body have a large prominent nucleus a large prominent nucleus so this is the structure of astrocytes one of the most abundant cell of nervous system consist have many cellular projection with small cell body of with prominent nucleus that's clear the thing you need to understand let's now look into the function of astrocytes you know there are so many function which are associated with astrocytes and still the research is going on to find find out the function of astrocytes there are few function which are much important or very common number one thing is that they are involved in the formation of blood brain barrier blood b b b b triple b blood brain barrier you know to understand how they are involved in blood brain barrier you need to understand what is the blood brain barrier blood brain barrier if the the blood vessels the blood vessels in nervous system they have what <laughs> look here 
if this is the they are the endothelial cells okay they are what there are so many endothelial cells okay they are doing what they are making blood capillaries they are making blood capillaries this is what endothelium look here in our other angle you can observe like this if this is what these are the lining of endothelium okay in other sense this is a blood vessel okay blood is flowing here this is the lumen here for this picture this is the lumen blood flowing here so these are what lining of endothelium try to understand this here definitely you will have what you will have basement membrane am i right here you have basement membrane on that basement membrane you have what pericyte you have pericyte a contractile cell a contractile and other important things this structure this is what this is a cellular process of astrocyte cellular process of this cellular process of astrocyte they are associated with what this cell here these structure they make a special structure like this which is called as vascular and feet vascular and feet these are vascular and feet so they are associated like this okay listen again carefully these structures which structures endothelial cells they have here what they have tight junctions they have tight junction of protein occluding protein which forms tight junctions this which forms tight junctions so here we have tight junctions these endothelial cells the tight junctions this basement membrane pericyte this feet which feet vascular and feet of astrocyte they togetherly form what blood brain barrier they togetherly form you know barrier doesn't mean there is a wall okay barrier just that mean the blood is flowing here to entry for this is the flow of blood outside here is the central nervous system or the nervous system of the body so blood can not directly enter into the central nervous system or nervous tissue they have a barrier and in the barrier we have which structures endothelial cells tight junction most important tight junctions basement membrane along pericyte and an other important structure which is provided by the astrocyte which is vascular and feet vascular and feet. so this because of this uh, arrangement of structures here the blood is flowing in this vessel cannot directly enter into the central nervous system because there is a mechanism the structure the molecules which are allowed they only they can enter into the central nervous system so because of this vascular and feet this your astrocyte is involved in blood brain barrier and people also believe that they also control the movement of some molecule from blood to the central nervous system they also control the movement of some like glucose some research paper say that like glucose can move from uh, blood uh, from blood vessels to the lumen of blood vessel to the central nervous system with the direction of astrocytes that's clear and other molecules here like you know glutamate you know there is amino acid glutamate so the some metabolic function of central nervous system or metabolic function of neurons okay are also controlled by astrocytes it is also believed that astrocytes they produce some growth factor they produce some growth factor that help in the growth of neuron in the early stage after the birth after the birth you know there is the development or in the growth in the neuron neuron you know one thing you remember this neuron do not divide they just increase their size they just grow but 
astrocyte or these cell glial cell they do divide they do cell division they do cell division so some of the major function of astrocyte is what they are involved in blood brain barrier they are involved in the control the movement of some molecule from blood to the central nervous system they involve they control in other cell if, if there is a toxicity they help to the reduce the toxicity they control the metabolism of many molecules like uh, amino acids like glutamates that's clear so these are the sub major function of what astrocytes that's